that began when I was living over at Tuttle's. Uh, I did live at Tuttle's my junior year. And <clears throat> I just mentioned that at BYU at that time, they did not have wards like they do now. They would post on the board <clears throat> which ward would accept the students on mutual night for a dance. And so uh, she had been telling me about this neat person that was president of the Idaho Club that I just had to meet because he was so fun to dance with and, and such a fun person. So this night um, we were going to the Montevoo Ward uh, for the dance. It was on the bulletin board <clears throat> and that was the night that I met your father. He was there at the dance. Now I was all primed for this wonderful cute guy but uh, as it turned out he had been up to the snow or someplace and he was sunburned. Oh he was sunburned. His hair was blonde and his face I was red as a lobster when I met him that night. He may not remember that that was the case. And, um, what year was this? It was 1939? Yes. And what uh, month? Um, it was in the fall, is all I can tell you, because I don't know what month it was. The school had been started well, for a while. Let, let's back up just a bit, though. Okay. Uh, because <clears throat> what she said is true about meeting me through the Idaho Club. My Don was in the Idaho Club, and I joined the Idaho Club, but I was not present that year. Was it the next year you became That's president? Right. I okay. wasn't president that year. Okay. And but I, I, I knew I Don, and uh, it was through I Don then at the Manavu dance that she introduced me to Maureen. Right. And uh, I liked to hmm. dance with her, and that's where it got started. Well, in any case, um, while uh, he didn't look what I called cute that night, he was a wonderful dancer and was fun to dance with, and and pretty soon I forgot all about the sunburn. And uh, he was also, I have to say, a great big tease. I wasn't quite sure how to take him. Uh, we did start to go together, but he was such a tease that I said to my roommates, I don't know if I'm going to go out with him again. I said, because he just teases me so unmercifully that maybe I just won't go. And they all landed on me at once and said, oh, you're making a big mistake if you do that. And so they all suggested that uh, we invite him over to dinner and they would listen and see how bad he teased. Well, he didn't tease too bad, but he did do one thing that rubbed me the wrong way a little bit. Do you want me to tell you what it is? You, we know what it is. <laughs> I was making a lemon pie and he watched and he said, my mother never made it that way. And <laughs> that wasn't exactly what I wanted to hear. <laughs>